Hey, 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 it's the Church of Bodogs. Your fog starting to lift, starting to get a little muggy out here. What do you say, Big Jim? Turn your lights off. You want me to turn your lights off? Don't you like looking cool? You got to look cool with them lights. The newer one's got the lights on the front, too. That's kind of neat. Turn that off. Took me a long time to figure out what those things were for right there. One day I hit the cargo light and I said, wow, that's kind of cool. Anyway, you got this 22.5, uh, 84 inch bottom. That'd be about six feet, I imagine. Six times 12. Two times six, 12, one and three, seven. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you got diamond plate. Now, wrap's the way to go, actually. These are old vinyl wrap. Because if you got one little scratch on a painted boat, boy, it almost feels like paint, though, doesn't it? Yeah, you can feel it. But anyway, if you get a scratch like that, you're looking over a thousand bucks to fix that. You can get these whole things for 14, 1800 bucks, anything you want on the side of the boat. So actually, vinyl is more forgiving than paint because they're elastic. But you can get some cool designs and it isn't that costly to get it redone. Anyway, diamond plate up there, anchor guard up here. You got a dirt anchor system up there. Uh, two inch ball, brake fluid was good. That's underneath that black cap. Round seven foot to get out. Boom, boom. If you put a tire, you can bam, bam, bam. And so you don't have to jump out of the dock, run around, hook up, run around, jump back in the boat. You can just get out the front and do it. Good support, Pro X custom aluminum. Nice black. With the outside inserts, aluminum brushed polish. You got chine guides on it, run chine guides, Teflon, nice. Uh, nice antenna. Squatty body, horn. Uh, you got a fish box, bait box, storage, anchor rope storage, uh, wash down pump in there, slider seats, got cup holders on each one of the seats. Uh, rod lock uh, storage here is on a gutter system that goes all the way back and drains. So that's really nice, kind of a pre-flexed hole too. Uh, nice and roomy for people. You got your back back there and that's air adjustable. and. It's rigged for uh, downriggers right there. You got that's tackle trays. And then you got uh, right on the corner. They just started doing that a little bit ago. That's nice because if you're ever going to hit something, you're going to hit the back corner when you're backing up. So that's what's nice there uh, to have that so you don't scuff it up and a little more reinforcement. That's that gutter system. You got uh, the Garmin transducer. Garmin, way to go, buddy. By God, Garmin's the only way to go. <clears throat> I set a big one up yesterday. I mean, that took me all day, but once they set up it's so nice for the user it does they're so intuitive and fast again then you got uh, to get to your uh, cables and stuff through there storage up into there you got storage here so say if you didn't have a center console you put your electronics you got wash down here same thing over there you got a wash down base in there you got the uflex that makes it really nice i mean actually i'm kind of wondering why they can't do that with a tiller handle they make them but not as good as these uh, because I mean this is like whew, so easy you know the tiller and I imagine you got to put the kit they got to figure something out there down the road uh, they have something but it's you know I don't see it working too too good but anyway my drain plug jet now this here is to grease the pump every time you use it you should shoot some grease into that and then right here's your flush you can get in a little adapter that you can screw into there and then you hook your garden hose up to it you can flush it out you got them down there any dealer that sells Yamaha's got those jet pump you got this uh VMAX show nice looking man that's alien looking Ooh, and it even shines nice 250 they got a lot of power Yamaha signal uh, symbol up there uh you got your T99 high thrust you got 11 by 7 you got your large opening here where you can see your fingers through here so when you're backing up back pressure lets it get out the back that's why you get 50 60 percent more in reverse power you got welded on zincs uh you got nice thing with this trailer too these are all welded bunks with teflon so you don't have u-bolts hanger to go out on you uh but they are a little you got to get them almost level or dipping down a hair because the cross member right there when you're going up a driveway you better make sure it's level or down because if not you're gonna end up scraping that which ain't gonna hurt but Anyway, fresh water fl flush air choke. So when you start it, you got to pull that choke out. And I'll show you that when I fire this thing up. 
But anyway, you pull the choke out, you put that in forward and you give it like seven pumps, put it back into neutral, bring the throttle all the way back, hit the start button, which is right there. When it fires up, push this choke in, and slowly move the throttle back. That's your friction, that's your trim right there. There's your stop and your lanyard, fresh water flush again. Uh, this doesn't take a lot of power just to where, where the water comes out right here. Uh, don't force it out real heavy stream. There's your intake, a little tidbit there. Say you weren't getting any water. First thing I do is I use like one of them, uh, oh, paper clips are probably the best, but if not, carry one of them, uh, oh, what do you call it? Dental floss that's on a stick thing that you can fold out and carry it with you. You got dual purpose. You get something in your teeth to clean it, and then if not, you bend it back and you can poke it up there and clear that out. But if you clear that out and stuff, nothing, nothing comes out, like out that pee hole. And you hook it up to your hose at house, nothing comes out. First thing I would do is pull this, take this off. If there's a screw on the back side of this, pull out. If you got rubber inside that, that means your impeller is gone. A sure sign. That's your gear case drain here. Here's your check. You open that up, make sure it's all the way up and down. And then on that, uh, yeah, they can be down a little bit. Don't worry about it. And then to fill it up, you just put something in there and you fill it up until it runs out. Put the thing in. Don't over tighten these because if you do, you're every time you check it you're going to get in, have to have a new o-ring got welded on zinc that's the way to go good contact transducers go onto that bracket which we had over there there's your motor well drain right here that's your gutter for that uh, and on the oil uh, the little ones as it isn't so critical on the little one but three quarters up the hash mark don't fill them all the way full same way on these big ones unless you're going to run them jets are a little bit different because they run a little bit harder than a prop does but you should only go maybe i'd say halfway up the dipstick some of the bigger ones we say quarter up the dipstick is where you want it you got vhf you got your garment all set up when i'm out there 703 control box wash basin to, for warm water uh that they can hook up to that i'll write that in my notes uh and i don't even know if they bolted this yeah they did i was wondering about that and your way batteries are back there you shut off switches back there and now uh, them or them pre-packed uh, buddy bearings uh, disc brakes on all four so those i think are five or ten years i can't remember what they are they're called vaults so anyway this is the boat doctor we're out of here i'll see you on the water